but like tell us a little bit about power seekers because Jackie you talked about bringing youth in and, and that mm-hmm. how important uh, young people are in this work I wonder if Kale you could tell us a little bit about power seekers yeah um so I guess touching on the specific point of working with youth and young people is um my journey started in high school. I went to high school in Burlington and I went to Aldershaw. I did the RBG Eco Studies program. And that was really like my environmental awakening. Um, it was a great like semester long program. And we learned about climate change. We did canoe trips, hiking trips, that sort of stuff. Um, and basically that sparked my environmental passion, I guess. And I feel like it's pretty reasonable uh, when you learn about the things that are happening on the planet. So we had, it was sort of an onslaught uh, of a semester where you learn about like ocean acidification and uh, coral reef bleaching and deforestation and species extinction. And it can be very overwhelming to just recognize what's actually happening here on the planet. Um, So that, that sort of started my journey and one of the ways that I found uh, immediately that I was able to contribute one of the things I enjoyed uh, was like recruiting and community building and bringing people in and sharing and opportunities to help the environment so that uh, sort of started my journey locally in Burlington I was able to start Burlington's first uh, environmental youth network and I've been working with youth and young people for um, almost 14 years now and how that leads into the power seekers program is we find right now young people especially like all of those things i just shared and that's a little tiny slice we could spend the whole episode uh just bumming people out (laughs) about all of the uh, intense issues that are out there and that's what can happen a lot when you learn of and you um begin to really dive into these topics when you're alone and when you're thinking that you have to address these problems as an individual Um, Not that those things aren't important, uh, but the Power Seekers program is really about like community um, and it's about capacity building and recognizing that all of us are learning the same information. Uh, Most of us are having the same emotional reactions to it and often it leads to like overwhelm and um, sort of you just shut down. So that's part of what we're looking to create and the program is called Power Seekers um, for a reason because it's an interesting uh, sort of wordplay there but like most people are seeking power in uh, and it's not in a negative way it's we want to be able to influence the world in the way that we uh, feel passionate about and for most people that's like Jackie said like creating a kinder and more compassionate world treating uh, fellow life forms with respect and being able to create uh, a lifestyle on the planet that we can survive uh, long-term here. So <laughs> there was a long introduction, but it's a powerful <laughs> program. <laughs> uh, and it's basically for young people who are looking to make a difference on the planet and might feel a little bit overwhelmed, not sure what to do, and are looking for a community of people to uh, get inspired with together, take action together, and uh, hopefully make a whole bunch of friends. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I appreciate you know, your detailed re- response um, because it helps us understand all the good work you're doing. And uh, I love how you said, you know, to treat all life forms with respect. That is such a powerful statement because we're not here just to treat ourselves with respect or human beings. Life forms includes everybody, everything that lives and breathes and survives and grows and reproduces. And I think that is beautiful what you said. Uh, One thing I do know is that programs, community programs, such as the one that you're running, are making a huge, huge impact in Halton. And how do I know that is that I'm an elected official. And let me tell you, any report we have on council, we are noticing more and more young people are coming on as delegates. Environment is the number one issue they're concerned about. They have questions and they're putting us to test. Um, They're always making sure their elected officials are looking at everything through a green lens. And I know of such an organization that's working locally, like Fridays for Future. They're always working hard, and I'm pretty sure you might know about them. They're an advocacy group. And so I just wanted to, you know, um, hats off to you guys, because you are really empowering the youth of our future. And today, who 
you're so right. There's this feeling of doom when you learn about the climate emergency and the situation we are in because of our own actions. And then you're led to think about, you know what, it's all over. I mean, there's nothing left to do, but then you need organizations like yours um, to kind of give our youth some direction on how they can make a positive impact. So that's great. Thank you so much.